Before we start automating any type of application on Internet Explorer using VBA, let us go through what are the various types of elements that we generally see on a web-based application. So the first control is text box. A text box appears like this and it enables us to enter some text for example username and password fields. Next one is link. When we click on a link, it takes us to a, some other page or a window. Third one is a button which we generally see on different websites. For example, I was talking about the login form where text boxes were there for username and password. We do see a lot of images on web-based applications and not just images, but you would also see some animations or other graphical entities on the page. The next control is checkbox. It allows us to enter the choices. You can check it or uncheck it to give your preferences. We also see text area on the pages and text area is more or less similar to text boxes. The only difference is that the text area is bigger in size and it allows us to enter lengthy text. Some text area also allows us to enter the formatted text. The next two controls are list boxes and combo boxes. The difference between a list box and a combo box is that a list box is simply a list of items while a combo box is a combination of list box and an edit box. In combo box you would see an arrow on the right side. When you click on that then the list items would pop up. Like check boxes we can also have radio buttons on the page. The difference is that radio button allow us one item to be selected from a group. These are used where only one choice is valid. For example, for a gender selection on a form, you would either see male or female. Now you would be choosing any one out of these. Now for that we generally see radio buttons and not check boxes. Then we also have web tables and frames. In the next tutorial, we'll focus on how to access all these types of elements using VBA. So we'll be learning a couple of methods which allow us to find elements on the pages and then perform actions on them. Now one thing to note here is that Excel is not the best tool for web based automation but still we try to leverage all the benefits because we have a database like structure inbuilt and when we have an additional capability of extracting data from websites we can easily use some string manipulation functions and loops and conditional statements to shape up our data in one file only rather than having multiple setup for doing automation and then storing the data in the database format. 